So today we're taking a look at the one more gaming in earbuds and it's got a neck bracelet and everything like that and it's kind of in a nice box and stuff. So we're gonna obviously unbox it and then test it out on the mobile because it's for mobile esports gameplay. So basically professional gameplay on a mobile because you can get PUBG and obviously Fortnite on there. Even though you might not like Fortnite or PUBG, if you like other professional games or coming in 2018 and 19, there may be some more professional games that they're working on or making the games that they've got better. You can play them on your phone. So first off, we're going to download the app. Oh yeah, do you want to know what these are? One more are? These are the one more spearhead VR BTs uh, in ear headphones. So anyway, so I'm on here now and it says one more assistant. So we'll take a look. So obviously you've got to download the app first before you really want to use these. Bang, so download it, install it. So this uh, app's like 11.47 megabytes. Make sure you've got a, a decent space. It's not as like terribly big or anything like that, but also that this is a Note 9, so it has got quite a lot of space on it. But technically, if you're going to be gaming and stuff like that, then you need a decent speed fun. Oh, allow, allow. Oh, this is really cool. Now, basically, what I need to do is get the headset and turn it on. So first off, let's have a look in the box. So we've got all these instructions um, on graphic, graphical designs that I actually implemented. I actually helped this company do it. I was like, look, let me draw you up some like plans for this and draw it up. No, I'm only joking, but I could easily do this. You do know that anyway. Anyway, this is what it looks like. So it's got the package in there and then we'll put it out and then we've got the in earbuds in there. These light up LED red and apparently it's got four different ways of doing stuff with it. So we're going to take these out quickly. And also that you get in here, it's an empty box. And then you get this really nice little design there, I like that. So saying you get the little cable to charge with, I don't know what that, oh, these are the in-ear silicone tips. Uh, obviously it looks like a pouch and obviously some documentation. So we'll just get that out right now. Oh, well, okay. So we get this, oh, feels funny. This one more uh, gaming uh, in-ear bud bag with a teddy bear on there and that teddy bear looks kind of cute but it could be evil there's nothing else in the bag and then we get obviously your documentation and somewhere you can scan your uh, code UR code then you've got a cable nice flat cable as well actually saying that let me just get this off real quick uh, so this cable is probably about 35 centimeters a nice flat cable, easy to put in your pocket. Uh, doesn't get tangled up. It's not a Type C though. It's just a normal mini USB one. And then, whoa. Then we get a sticker. So one more stickers with a, a teddy bear that's kind of evil. Another teddy bear with a QR code in it. Just please scan your QR code on the app system so we could do that. Um, oh, so these are the instructions obviously and. No, it's not the instructions actually. I thought these were instructions. Okay, so this is uh, saying it was at CES and all that sort of stuff and what awards and all these other little uh, headphones that they've got in their buds. And uh, yes, I've reviewed a few of them. Leave a link in the description down below. It's gonna be pretty cool having a look at that. And then obviously you get the silicone tips. So I'll just rip that open. And you get these tips. And these are silicone tips for different types of ears or inside your ears, depending on what size ears you've got. Uh, these are silicone, as I keep saying, and they're meant to like basically make a clamp around inside your earlobe so it stays in, and then obviously it cancels out any other sound. That's the whole point about it. So we've got large. It looks like we've got large, medium, and small. So I'm gonna go with medium. I think they come with them on there as well. So that means you probably get four sets, if that's true. So these are the in-ear buds right here. So I'm just gonna put them out very lightly. Actually, I think I'm gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna get these out. Oh, right, there's a box there. So, okay, that doesn't look any easier than what it is. But I'm sure I can just push these out. All right, there we go, there's one of them out. 
Right, so just be careful when you're putting these out so you don't rip them or damage the in-ear bud at all. A little mission anyway so if you charge these for 10 minutes you will get gameplay i think it's up to three hours because they last for six hours so that's pretty decent just for charging it impedance is like 32 ohms hang on a minute what size in here but of these all right so you get you definitely get all kinds of sizes i'm going to take these ones off and then i'm going to go with the next size down i'll normally put the small ones in so got the smallest ears in the world so they're fairly easy to get on, not too bad. It does have Bluetooth 4.2 as well. Uh, so that's up to 10 meters away when obviously you're getting away from a the device. These are definitely heavily for gaming and not really for uh, playing music. So basically, look how flexible these are. These are just, this is hardly me even flexing about. Look, that is the neck band. So they're really flexible, really soft, they're meant to be around your neck. So basically it feels like skin contact and it obviously gets warmer and then it feels uh, the sensitivity to your skin so it, it just doesn't feel like it's, oh, what's that on my neck? Um, you got this as well. This looks like the spearhead thing. So they've got these other um, over the head headphones and they've got this like spear with an RGB light thing coming out, which is the microphone, you can extend it in and out and that, that's pretty cool. But yeah, these are kind of similar. But anyway, so it's got that on that side and that on that side, and this is where all the magic's happening. These look a little bit creased up in that. I would rather them a little bit straighter in that. But these have got um, uh, LEDs on the side to make it to make it give it that gaming feel. It's got this red accent on the side as well, and then it's got clearly left and right written on there. And then you've got um, plus and sort of a line. So the line saying skip back. And the plus looks like it's there to skip forward, pause, and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, you do have play and pause, and you can answer phones and hang up calls. And you've got your U mini USB here, which you obviously put into charge, and you could just charge it off a laptop or something like that. Yes, you can, as it's got Bluetooth 4.2, you can use it for TVs and stuff like that, or placed, well, I think if PlayStation's got Bluetooth, if I remember rightly. Anything that's got Bluetooth, you can connect to and obviously game with anyway. But um, yeah, it's got like these little buttons here. So it's like you turn on and then you can hang up and all this sort of stuff. And then I think that's a microphone here as well. Now, the reason why I said it was a bit of like eSports is because when, it's especially for gaming, it's meant to be able to hear gunshots that got like all the distinctions of the sound footsteps and everything like that so games like PUBG and Fortnite would be good if you're running up and down the stairs and stuff uh, that would make a lot of sense but we're here to test that so um, obviously these are really light as well really freaking light I don't think they have any magnets on it or anything like that so no it doesn't have that but um, yeah let's put these in the ears and let's check it out they feel comfortable straight away <laughs> and they feel like they will just stay in the ears but I normally need to have some uh, tests. So let's play, uh, for, well, let's set these up first. So first off, we need to turn them on. This straight out of the box, so I should have enough power for it. And when you turn them on, it goes, one more, and then it says, battery high. So, oh, they're called one more Sparehead VRBTs. I didn't, I say, they oh, connected. I didn't realize they even said that. Okay, let's check the sound. Right. I've got the app going, so where's the app? Right, there it is, so one more assistant. Uh, headset info will be shown here while the headset is plugged in. Please, please click to switch. What do you mean? Okay, right. play button. What? Press this button to start the burning right away. Please don't kill my ears.
So basically, all I'm hearing is a load of statics is burning it in. And uh, with the burning process, what's actually happening is, is that it's warming up for better performance. So it's basically like the old saying is when you had an amplifier that had vacuum um, for transi uh, transducers and stuff like resistors and everything like that that's built into the amp. It, what it does is it warms it up so you can like get warmer sound. If the sound is not right, then it sounds off. It's basically like um, when they say, oh, we need to warm up the bass so you can get that more softer, more punchier bass, or it's more like a harder, poppier bass. And it's like with the highs where it's not hurting your ears, it sounds cleaner and crisper. This is what's all the circuitry that's built into these in earbuds that do. And uh, I didn't even know it had all this information on there and everything like that. that's pretty good. But for a gaming set headset, that's kind of a lot it's more like for an audio file. But anyway, uh, saying first phase left, obviously about 12 hours of burning in, which I'm not gonna do. I'm just gonna let you know. But my volume's at 20%. Obviously, if you're gonna do a burning session, make sure that the volume is not like, it needs to be about halfway or, or like sort of comfortable listening pleasure. If it's any harder than that, you could damage them. But anyway, let's stop this. So let's stop. And technically you can use a burn-in process um, just before you game to get that nice warm fuzzy feeling. Anyway, let's try these out. So what we got here, Bluetooth here which is already connected to, then you've got the one more store and also your updates of what version it is as well. So I can check for updates. Latest version V129. And let's play, let's try Fortnite on here. Oh. Yeah, new t-shirt, different day, same old review though with this. So basically, with, as I slept on it and I was thinking about audio quality, uh, played Fortnite for quite a long time, but I was fully immersive into the gameplay. Um, the sound effects sounded really pretty awesome. Um, I was listening for people that are walking around the whole building and what was going on, people shooting everywhere. Sounded awesome on these, it really did. It was really freaky. Um, getting it to the eSports sort of level, it's nearly there, but in earbuds, I wouldn't have thought it, but obviously with open back um, stage and all this sort of stuff with uh, over the ear headphones and just like everything like tuned properly, um, that's where you get the optimal sound. These are like push to have those sort of sound implemented into your um, head. It's really, really cool. But anyway, so you've got the RG, well not the RGB, he's got red LEDs here. So you click the power button three times and then you can use the plus button and then you can I'll turn it off like I did there. Press it again, mm -hmm. have it on so it's on perf uh, just on all the time. And then if you press it again, it gives you a, a blink. And then the other one should be breathing. Yeah. So we can skip track forward, skip track back on there, play and pause, answer call, hang up call. Um, obviously pair by holding down the button for um, when you first get it. When you first get these, they'll all be in pairing mode, but when you want to put it in active pairing mode, it'll flash blue and red and uh, really quickly so that can tell uh, to get your phone to be uh, scanned for the Bluetooth device. And these work up to 10 meters away. Uh, through doorways is a little bit more complex than that because like we've got a security steel door here um, and it kind of cuts off about eight and a half meters. But yeah, other than that, this is good for the normal home and everything, and it's really comfortable. The sound is really uh, quite clean and stuff like that. I haven't tried music, so let's try some music really quickly. 
Obviously you can hear music um, into the gameplay, but it's not the same. I want to hear like actual music in my ears, so I can tell you like the depths of sound a little bit more clearer. But as it's the second day, here we go. The noise cancellation is really, really sick as well. It's good. And it stays in your ears as well, which I didn't expect to be uh, that good. Let's just have a listen to some music. Right, so listening to the sound, it does sound a bit muddled uh, with uh, the highs and the lows, but technically it does have a burning process and I never gave it the chance to burn in properly. So with learning about burning process with pre um, speakers and amplifiers uh, or vacuum amplifiers from back in the day, I do know that the sound sounds a lot more warmer and a lot more cleaner and it just as you um, listen to it. But as there's an app, that means that you can pre-warm it up before you can actually game and you can do it as many times as you want. Um, but some people just want to obviously listen to the sound and it's right there and there in your ears. Um, so technically, I'll probably come back and talk about these in-ear buds um, again after I've used them for probably a month or something like that just to get a good like uh, opportunity to say to you like um, yeah this does sound pretty good burning process because it says 24 hours and techni uh, technically I don't listen to 24 hours of static but obviously you're not meant to listen to it you're just meant to leave it on the side and stuff like that but anyway I hope this review was okay enough because there will be a part two in a month's time just remind me, leave your comments down below if you want to purchase this, if this is out of this time of the video, I'm not too sure. But subscribe, share to me, share to me, share my videos and all of that good stuff. And if you're new, hi and subscribe if you like this sort of stuff. And if you're already here, hi, Roger and out. See you next one. Thanks for watching.